Hi, I'm John Isner, and you're Inside Tennis with the Cause. Tennis fans, welcome back to Inside Tennis with the Cause. The broadcast world knows Ray Collins as a driven, cause-motivated newscaster. Tennis people know Aaron and Ray as two fun-loving tennis enthusiasts. You're watching Tennis with the Cause. Ray Collins, you report with a mission, with a cause. From politics to homeless to community outreach to sports. What do you want your viewers to get from your reports? Hopefully clarity. I, I never forget the person's watching on the couch and not entirely listening. So I want to make sure that every moment they know what I'm talking about, keep it simple, keep it clear, and then get out of the way. Don't last too long. You got into tennis. You helped to get into broadcast with your best friend in life, your dad. Share that special relationship that you and your dad had. I'm one of six kids, the youngest by far, and my father always played tennis and we always did as well. Tennis was the gift that he gave me. I began playing when I was about seven years old. And, and thanks to that, that gift, it's, it's been a wonderful thing for me. In the early 90s, I was doing some freelance work for a national tennis program, and I saw these little 12-year-old boys that were identically dressed and very polite with their parents. I said, that looks like a story right there. It was Bob and Mike Bryan, who later became the best double team of all time, as we know. You are the voice of the Sarasota Open. What do you enjoy about that week? I love every minute of it. I'm here from about 9.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. for about eight or nine days, and I can't believe they pay me for it. I, I love doing it. Very fortunate to combine my passions of broadcasting and tennis and do it here in this lovely area, Sarasota Bradenton. Ray, you've worked with some great anchors in broadcast. I want you to talk about this Gail Searins. Yeah, it's funny. I first worked in radio in Tampa back in 1987. And my first story assignment was to do a story about Gail Searins, who at that point was the first and only woman to broadcast an NFL game. She is such a gracious person, Gail Searins. Everyone loves her. And when you spend time with her, you can, you can see why. You can't talk tennis with Ray Collins without talking about that extra special trick shot that you pulled off against the number one player in the world, Novak Djokovic. My 15 minutes of fame. I was invited to be in a, a pro-am at the Ritz-Carlton in Key Biscayne, and one of the players on the court was Novak Djokovic. Djokovic caught me leaning the wrong way, so I had no choice with my slow feet but to reach around my back. And, and, and luckily I made contact and just over his head into the court. And I, I, I said to Andy Murray, did I just do that? He's a good shot, mate. <laughs> the Ray Collins Media School. So you're passing your talents down to broadcast wannabes, somebody that wants to get more confidence in public address and speaking. What do you enjoy most about sharing with your students? I, I began when I was about 12 or 13 years old, shadowing a broadcaster in Buffalo, Van Miller. He was the voice of the Buffalo Bills for 35 years, and he was so kind to me since I was 13. I'm happy to, to pay it forward now to the younger folks. I just hope that when they head toward broadcasting and journalism, they're doing it for the right reasons. It should be, I'm here to bring you the news, not the news is here to bring you me. Great to catch up with you, Thank Ray. Thank you, Kaz. My pleasure.